Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a, in the middle of a campaign in which we're playing as everyone's favorite southerner, or at least one of everyone's favorite southerners in TNO, George C. Wallace. Now I played as him twice already, it's been a while though. First time we got impeached I think, the second time we did maximum segregation, but this time we're going to go down this focus tree and uh, kind of ignore all the states' rights stuff. We're just going to get a lot of Medicaid, maybe, maybe some Medicare, maybe some jobs and get this, uh, the ports back and then uh, we'll see what happens. So. But segregation now and forever. Wallace's most famous slogan become commonplace on TV ever since his announcement of candidacy in the running, but now on a cold January morning. A slogan cut through the, snip, the nippy air, coming from one of the many ecstatic American faces in the packed crowd in the front of the Capitol building. All the signs they towed, all the banners they fly, every single thing they say and all support all chucked up to mean one thing, segregation. And America taking a big step forward and it was what the people wanted. Uh, individuals like Asa Carter, who had so thoroughly been humiliated in past gubernatorial races, now took cushy positions in Wallace's cabinet that could always dreamed of in the 50s when they first tried. Segregationist judges became all the more common. Uh, certain individual congressmen were already prepping to push bills forward behind closed doors, and the Democrats were consolidating their power. All across America, dissenting voices surged, but Wallace's supporters grew in number every day. His campaign momentum now reaching a fever pitch, topping out for better for worse. There's no telling how the next four years would be. Half the country crossed their fingers that Wallace would fail, and the other half clenched their fists tightly and threw them in the air. Happy to celebrate an America that finally uplifts the uh, certain man of a certain color. They just have to wait and see. Well, I've read these before, but I want to read them again because it's been a very long time since I've actually read these. The American people have chosen George C. Wallace as a new president after one of the most contentious elections in U.S. history. He has a number of plans for America with regards to creating a haven for foreign and domestic business as well as reforming education and welfare policy. Of course, the big issue, the one Wallace was truly elected on, is the Civil Rights Act. Wallace's victory proves that the American people are not happy with having such tyrannical policy forced upon them by the central government. His promise that under his government, states will have full liberty to decide their own futures, unmolested by the demands of either Washington or of violent mobs. His presidency should be beset by renowned outbursts of unrest from those who support the act, but he has vowed to press on with his plans regardless of what his immediates who have nothing better to do but protest all day and night. Now, a lot of the events I've read before, so I'm not going to read them. I've read some of these books before, but we're not really going to do them too much. I will get down here. This is the Union, not an empire. Because, or is it down here? Um, uh, put God back in schools. Might be better over here. Uh, whatever helps us with our society and stuff like that. So let's give them a day. Um, a lot of this will be just, I want to say, be time lapse, just because we still got to go through the South African War, which is taking forever, which is very annoying. But we'll get there. No more interference. I do want to save Africa, though. That'll help us out. The MPP didn't ask to have this hot potato of a war dropped onto our lap. Our administration would much rather focus on improving American lives at home and standing strongly against the Japanese. Still, this doesn't mean we don't have this responsibility and this on this war on America's terms. Um, to confront uh, fascism around the world, South America or not, <coughs> South Africa must be defended, and the Reich's commissars of Africa must be defeated. So, which would be great. Dirty state of schooling. We'll win them over as well. This will let us see the status of our support for future economic reforms, so let's go no more interference. Throughout the years of dominance, the disgusting uh, political chimera that is the RD party had increasingly infracted on the foundations of the Union with its Federalist politics. Chief among them, the shameful Civil Rights Act. While opponents will decry President Walz as some ridiculous, frothing racist, his real agenda is simply protecting the average American from any more government infringement upon his, his freedoms, something that any reasonable person would agree with. And yes, that does include the freedom to keep the inferior races away. So here we go, we have 24 Republicans, 15 Democrats, 14 Senate MPPs, and 45 uh, right-wing MPPs. So. Um, overall, not bad. Uh, also, we did do the stuff in the Philippines, which we got back to these guys, which was god-awful. I'm glad I didn't show you, because this is one of the worst things I've done in a while, fighting the Philippines. But whatever. Um, this has been terrible, too, fighting over here. Because I've just been waiting, stalling for uh, things to happen. Oh god, look how laggy it is. Not real, boy. I know if you might ask me, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to, we're trying to push the Praetoria. I'm just trying to destroy all the, uh, pretty much the stuff they got around here, so. At least. And we'll kind of hang out, do okay. Economy-wise, 3% growth, almost over 9 billion in surplus yearly, which is very good. Um, other than that, there's, there's a page, 71 billion in debt, not bad. Overall, really, just not bad. So we're, we're just going to push this way. You all hold and go this way, please. Operation success, of course, like normal. Um, and we'll read a lot of stuff here too as well. See, uh, RDs are currently voting together. Yaki's and far right are voting together. NPP and center left are voting together. Um, I don't want to increase unity yet, because the goal to do this, I want a good eight years as George Wallace. God bless his soul. Um, but we, like I said, we're not going to go the segregationist route from now as much as we can resist it. 
I'm just getting a lot of uh, reforms done and whatnot. Yeah, we'll call them reforms. That's what I want to do for this campaign. Because I've been planning this campaign for a while, I just have never gotten to it. Because, God, I love George Walls. But, fighting tyranny? Oh, I'll come over here next. No more interference. Followed up with what? At home. Discontent with the wall. I want more attack and defense. In Africa. It's become abundantly clear that the RD line of meddling has made this war more difficult to win. The victory in Africa has become set in secondary to the maintenance of an endless occupation to avoid humiliation. And a result, our administration is quite uncertain about the actual state of the war. We need to immediately begin sending officials to South Africa to get the lay of the land and determine what our real options are. And of course, at home. The U.S. is in a somewhat precarious situation. There have been these three presidents in two years, a new party sticking in the White House, and above all else, the nation is still stuck in an unpopular bloody war. Neither country nor our administration can go on like this. We should begin to make it clear to the public that our position is to end the South African War. It must be at peace with honor, but we will make it a peace. Uh, I think I've read this one before. So if you read this one, please go right ahead, as well as the rest of this right here. So if you read that, please go right ahead as well. So we will try to get the ports back as fast as possible because we want to make sure that in the next election we still get more senators and whatnot like that so don't even move uh mired and stalemate the president had a bank of tvs in the oval office and a cabinet next to the resolute desk it wasn't for the information he had staff or some briefers by the dozens for that but rather to feel the pulse of the nation really it's not healthy on abc a camera crew embedded on the off african frontier comes under fire for three different directions here is yelling a rush of the helicopter and the screams of the wounded on the CBS, and yet another campus building is occupied by protesters. A draft car flickers like votive candles in the early evening light as a nation's rebellious youth struggle under the pressure of the present age. <clears throat> On the NBC, a roundtable of intellectuals and politicians argue over what the war means for America and for the world. Uh, this, might, this is night after night, uh, appealing to expertise when all else seems to be slipping away. In Washington, watching the death and pair and pain and anger from the relative comfort of his office chair, the president puts his head in his hands. Darn Nixon, darn the RDs, darn every last one of them for putting America into this war. For throwing away all their hopes for peace. Darn it all. This has got to end. Hey, girl, we're fight. Nice. But yeah, uh, how's air spray already looking over here? It's, it's, it's good. It's very good, actually. Can we throw any more planes here? We have how many planes? We have 350 plus... Yeah, it's just 350 in total. And we can go up to s a little more. But, yeah, we're all right right now. I'm just here to pretty much tire them out. I mean, I, obviously, in circles would be best, but yeah. Need more motorized now. Huh? Are we out of trucks? Hope not. Oh, we are out of trucks. That's not good. Motorized equipment. Also, I deleted the navy. I always delete the navy at this point, even though we really shouldn't, because there's stuff between us and the Japanese, especially for some conflict stuff that we probably shouldn't do that. But whatever. How many guns we got? We got 19,000. I'm not concerned. And these guys are what? These are 38 come with. I made them huge. They're all elites, which is nice, 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 nice. Gives a little bit more time because we're still waiting for a lot of equipment to come back in. And we have a cup of coffee to keep it nice and warm. Oh, this is really hot. Nice. Operational success. Great. But we'll see. This war has been god awful. Um, send over guns. Give them a little more money. Uh, Democrats. We can work with the Democrats and Republicans. I'm going to actually not do either one. I'm thinking. We'll need both, really. Oh, Wallace and his voter base. Good luck. He's unhappy with the lack of segregation, of course. Defecting the Democrats. Unhappy with the state's rights. Going to the Democrats. MPP is going to balance the needs of worker and the businessman. Which is alright. In all honesty. Uh, they do have a division right there. We might be able to push in here, maybe. No more interference. So we can see what's going on at all times. There you go. Nice. We can take out Praetoria. They might just capitulate them. There you go. <coughs> nice. Did they capitulate? Not yet. We need to get up there, too. Yeah, you don't want to get in a circle. God dang it. The Battle of Johannesburg. You're going to read about that. Please go right ahead. And yet the war goes on. They'll remember me now. Email Maurice. Um, if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. I'm not sure if I read this before, but if you want to read it, please go ahead. If the people want to know, they'll know everything. Popularity of growth? Nice. We need to win them over, too. Washington to welfare. I know I've read this one before as well, so please go ahead if you, if you want to read this one, too. Um, anything up here? Because we'll have to get Italy in with us as well on the home front. Buy back her arms. I don't want her stability at all. Discontent with the war will fall. How much discontent is middling? It's not bad, actually. It's going to take some time, though. 
Um, here. Give him a bay. But, and Africa, which is good, and inherited war, win him over. The natural progressive part is found on the great principle of America first. American interests come in first in diplomacy, especially when it comes to reclaiming their stolen state, but the needs of the American workers and families come first as well. Sure, some of them may be on the fence about a government thanks to the segregation issue, but we're going to show Americans across the country that they have no greater friend than President Wallace. President Wallace will expand his support base through two social welfare programs, Medicare, Me uh, Medicare and Social Security. Given workers across the country some federal support, he should be able to coast a victory again by grateful new seniors and the newly insured. Actually, this might be actually... Ooh, there's a lot of divisions. That's six divisions a lot right there. And Africa, operational success, great. Fighting tyranny, awesome. Um, well, we can work with the Democrats. I'm on more far right, but keep doing this for now, too. It's fine, whatever. We get Johannesburg. Is that going to be enough to capitulate him? No. God dang it, come on. Keep going. Just destroy everything they've got, you know, like normal. And there you go. Give these guys some time to recover. We'll plan attack and go ahead and bomb whatever. Because we'll attack here. Actually, we might just attack, attack here. Not much of an encirclement, but, you know, whatever. Two. Make it quick. Make it very quick, actually. And nice. Defense attack. Three, two, go in. Get some more attack as well. We can go here and win before these guys get there. That'd be good. Oh wow! Look at all this stuff. Pro American sentiment. Yeah. Oh, there goes Hadrish, finally. Oh, come on. That's so stupid. Yeah, this civil... The, not civil war, but the war down here is god-awful at this point. It's one of the worst things to do. South African war is not fun. Thank God. If anything, you guys hold here. Go right here. Actually, keep two of you guys here. Keep them in place. There we go. Now that's what we like to see. Nice, nice. Bot and tyranny. Win him over. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. At least the MPP fights for America. Yes, it do. Good. Giving them six divisions is very good. Very, very, very good. Good. More political power. We're going to need that for later. Um, UDN. Ah, it doesn't really matter to me. Go to base dagger too. No. Um, right now, we still we're done with the recruiting for now. That's fine. Okay, so you guys can actually maybe hang out a little bit. So there's a division there. We're gonna kill that one off. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Bing, bong, boom. Win him over. Follow it up with what? A stable front. A fluid front. According to the John Lavelle, one of the Air Force's top commanders, the U.S. military's ability to strike a decisive blow against the birds and Germans. Our industrial military capacity far outstrips what the Rocks Commissars can usually bring to bear. By using this overwhelming firepower, reports can mount a fierce offensive in enemy territory, creating a new fluid front and opening up the opportunity for a quicker victory. Well, I don't know about a quicker victory, but hopefully we'll get a victory no matter what. Alright, so not looking bad. Ooh, Paraguay Falls, so be it, whatever. Go in and then go in there too. Not bad. Less than 70 billion in debt. Nice. Very good. It's only one division we're going to circle and destroy, but you know what? I'd rather have it destroyed than not. Nice. Good. 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 Pick the ground counter. Very good. Democracy returns to Italy, not bad. Hey, 
Battle of Birmingham. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Against the world, we stand strong. Well, this is voter base. We expect more states' rights legislation to be passed. Lower business tax, except for So, Italy in the center. Party's plan. Wallace shall lead the way. We got elected. Why the heck would we need them? More Dixiecrats will support our efforts, but this means we should be careful about not to bother the South. The party's plan will work with the center instead. An attempt to unite the party in economic issues. A dirty state of schooling. Union, not an empire. Dixie likes this. Southern voters will like this. Ooh, it broke me up. That we'll get there eventually, but um, so United and Ready is not bad. I just you can completely ignore this one for the most part. I just want the port. So if you know about domestic preparations or preparedness, please go ahead. There you go. If you find them, I want you to beat literally just beat the crap out of them because these guys develop more industries. Well, doesn't don't think that's really gonna help them out that much. I'm not gonna lie. I want to get all the I want to get the ports back before the midterms, so that is the goal. Can you do this and just a circle and kill them all off? I mean that'd be great. We could. Come on and oh, we got him. For now. Great job, guys. The Bowman wins a civil war. Which is going to get an update, too. Nice. Again, they're just a river that they got across, which sucks. But Festung's Victoria, not bad. Alright, they're going to attack us. Maybe two, maybe not. Okay. Just find all the enemies and kill them off as much as you possibly can. Domestic of preparedness. Less than 69 billion. Very nice, very nice. Growth is only 2.5%, but whatever. You don't need to move. And. Where are you at? You're there. 1v1, we can't be beat. If you're gonna put that, please go ahead. Material make militarization cheaper. Options to plan the fames of revanchism. Yes, please. We'll drown our enemies in raw industrial might. Fire up the people. Feed the beast. Voter base. Unhappy segregation. So we want healthcare. And we want social security. That's what the two we want to get right now. We got even more. Holy crap. Um, way more trucks. Nice. We're building up a lot of roads right now, too, so. Alright. I'm gonna go in there, too. That's fine. Let's keep these guys in place, too. You right there. Baira? It's a long way to Kenya, but we'll get there. Actually, at this point, I'm about to do time ups right now. Cogs in the machine. If you remember this, please go ahead. Pump the gas as well. Fight above ground. Rosie the radio operative. Bung the skunk works, yes. Ready for battle. Eyes on the ports. Or Alcatraz. Battleship diplomacy, of course. See all, hear all. Get counterintelligence report, which I've read before. And uh, during the time lapse, I'll try to pause. You can pause it. So I'll leave it on screen for a while, hopefully. And then on to Tokyo. I want you to do a lot of that stuff as well off screen.
The beacon of democracy, freedom, and business. America's the last great nation on earth to preserve the ideals of freedom and democratic government. We owe our success in this regard to the mightiest economy mankind's ever assembled, forged and maintained by American banks and American industries. Free from the state's messing, messing grip, they had risen to great heights, earned greater profit year after year until soon America surpassed and utterly dwarfed the old world tyrants and their many inefficiencies. Can't be said enough without its unflinching dedication. Free markets, free enterprise, our nation will have been consigned to a footnote in the annals of history long ago. As the new president enters the White House, so too most America chart a new course for its economy. For thinking men such as you and I, there exists only one option. Promote American business at home and abroad, whatever the cost. And only then is American dollars and American businessmen travel from Washington to all four corners of the world. Unimpeded, unburdened, will our nation be capable of continuing the fight for the ideals we so deeply cherish in the decades to come? And we also do American business. The far right of the uh, NPP has begged the great George C. Wallace to reform the American economy one way or another until creating a truly free and capitalistic market through which the patriots of America will thrive. Instead of crying about their loss of welfare program, however, while we shall continue to act as strong man and the uh, greatest voice of the uh, right for America, what we have to do is get there is to answer for ourselves a simple question. We shall act in the favor of the small town business owners of this country, working hard every day to make things right, or the true money makers sit in the suits of fancy corporations, bringing in millions from foreign investors across the world, and we're currently doing abroad. By the end of the war, America's sway over the world order had shrunk to a fraction of what it once was ten years prior. The Evictus, the Axis powers triumphantly gloated, as they carved the old world among themselves at America's, at America's expense. Germany and Italy and Europe and Africa and the Japanese Empire and the Asia Pacific. Her pride wounded, her economy damaged, her influence gone, and her people close to revolt. America could do nothing but watch from the sidelines as three eagles soared to great heights out of the ashes of the Second World War. That was two decades ago. Much has changed since then, though. For the world's newest empire, things have taken a turn for the worse. Where others see the end of days, we only see a golden opportunity for America to return to the world stage. And for what else are we but risk takers at heart? Other degenerate tyrants suffer their malaises, just like other, other empires before them. The American eagle shall spread its wings regardless, and it shall not be denied its rival perch at the top of the world. Great investments in Brazil. Eh. A shining and glimmering continent. Air Force One touches down at the airport in, airport in Dallas, Texas. President Wallace steps off the plane, admiring the sunny Texas sky on his way to the NPP rally. The band is graced by nearly 100 reporters immediately, but they quickly gets into his escort. Just 20 minutes later, Wallace walks up to the podium to greet the sea of spectators filling the streets. He recognizes immediately that the complete success in the South African War has created the biggest NPP rally of the year by far. Many American flags spring up from the crowd, including signs with pro-Wallace slogans and even a couple of Confederate flags. However, the success of the whole OFN is a topic of the day for President Wallace. My Americans... We meet here today to celebrate the liberation of Africa by OFM forces and the expulsion of the Nazi menace. I'm proud to say that the MPP stands with our fine brethren representing the OFM. Across the world, our allies are forged together in absolute unity, bearing the torch of freedom against all who seek to destroy us. No matter what, the MPP will continue to represent the fine spirit of America like no one else. <coughs> Wallace's fervent uh, speech in rapture of the Texan masses, but one lingering feeling was clawing at his skull. The world is now over, but could an entire half continent be brought to enjoy democracy? Under the jackboot, there's no hope for prosperity for the Africans, but did the Americans even have a better chance than the Nazi overlords? If Central Africa were to collapse, we suddenly burst the victory bubble Wallace was riding high on. The MPP would certainly take a big hit if the African mission failed. The horde of MPP supporters vigorously applauded Wallace as he ended his speech and withdrew from the podium. Even as the sun began to set, the name Wallace could be heard chanting from within the scattered crowd. The true situation in Central Africa tells a different story, though. Oh. Oh, yeah, it'll change in the, the crux of the economy. President Wallace, of course, had known the nature of the National Progressive Party from the day he registered into the party. Frankenstein-ish being the most appropriate term to apply to the menagerie of political movers within the U.S., looking to make change with disappointment after disappointment coming from the Republicans and Democrats. However, President Wallace knew that the day would come he would have to decide on defending American comp competitiveness or pleasing his support by sticking up for the little guy. However, little did he know that his decision would come with a discussion with Wilbur Mills. Well, you see, Mr. President, your beginning statements are far, sir, and a fantastic way to draw in your support and cheer you on and set the crowd to spread support for you. But, as I navigated down the paragraphs, I know it's a bit of an inconsistency, sir, Mills said. Inconsistency. What the heck are you talking about, Mills? Wallace said, moving over to try to look over the speech. You see, sir, the points you made within the body seem to come off as well inherently contradictory towards one another. In one paragraph, you appeal greatly towards the larger businesses and a corporation producing thousands of jobs for good Americans. Further down, you make a note to point out the strength and power of the American workforce and being able to resist falling into business traps that suck the independence out of every day one's, one's life. It just isn't possible to do both, sir, and quite frankly, it's down to the matter of choosing a side regarding the argument. As much as Wallace hated to acknowledge it, but he's going to have to choose the side regarding the economic argument on behalf of the uh, NPP. On one hand, the big business leaders in the U.S. offer unparalleled growth for the economy with slashing, federal, with slashing of federal restraints, and could offer much greater opportunities for Americans while pleasing the conservative body of America who want to make the market remain as free and as open as possible. But, on the other hand, therein lie the key to monstrous success regarding sewing together the factions of the NPP, while also managing to please the Southerners who didn't give a darn about larger businesses so much as supporting themselves on a local level. Mills and Wallace sat for what felt like hours, as the unbearable tension of a party-changing decision was set to rock the U.S. Mills had really become the central part of a grand economic plan, as President Wallace stated himself. We need the progressives and local businesses on our side. 
corporation is too profitable not to capitalize on it. So let's take, take a look here. So uh, unhappy states' rights and segregation. Mm, we need the progressive local businesses on our side. They hate this. They like this. Are too profitable. We can do some states' rights stuff soon. So we're gonna. They're too profitable for now. They're unhappy. We're gonna do abroad. A lower business tax. This will alienate the end center. So, tap, tap to pass a bill. Uh, you can, Dixie will like this. Proceed to return the individual states to the proper authority. Now, we're not going to go down this path very much if, at all, like I said right before. Southerners will like this, too. Funding for schools, American education. This is the one I wanted. Yeah, dirty state of schooling. Yeah, education quality will this increase slightly. Party's plan, lower business taxes, foreign businesses, Canadian businesses will get a little more unified. That will skyrocket if we spend too much. Deregulate DC. Get more unified. It looks worse in the northern states. The union makes us strong. Power unions and anger big businesses. Made in America. Please the voting base for those who pay. This will please large businesses. Anger. Huh. You lose authoritarian democracy. Income taxes increases too. Welcome to America. I mean, these two are the biggest ones we really want to do, but we don't want to piss off too many people just yet, so. We want to get the, at least the midterms, if not the 1968 elections as well. Working with these guys, not to bother the center too much. Attempt to unite the party in economic issues. Well, more Dixiecrats will support us. It means you can't bother the South. They don't really support us that much right now. We have how many senators? 45, and that's why we got the ports back, or still trying to get the ports back already. 24 Republicans, and with enough Democrats will be fine. We have 14. Actually, right now, let's look at this. We have 20, 15, 15. Oh, basically. 15 Democrats, 14 Senate, 24 Republicans. Because I do want to pursue Social Security relatively quickly. Business subsidies as well. Turns to steal about land and cotton. Um, alienate them. Well, if we alienate them first and then try to get them with us, I think that'd be good. Why would we need them? It means we should not be careful bothering the South. Not to bother. To unite the party. We want to unite the party as much as possible. Party plan. Let's go lower business taxes first. What American business needs to grow and improve the nation is simple and clear. More capital. The first and most. Uh, <clears throat> a two at a step to ensure the continued growth of more jobs will be freeing business from the unneeded financial burden put upon it by the government. Especially since we've all agreed the federal government needs some shrinking anyways. South African war victory. Bring about these. Please go ahead. Um... Three separate states, actually, which means we got to come back over here. And the DMZ validations regarding the uh, failed reach. Well, we should do that one. Uh, good luck. Unhappy, unhappy, whatever. Healthcare reform, Social Security. No one really supports us yet for now, which is fine, whatever. Uh, political landscape. The MPP is ready for, uni uh, uh, ready for anything. American society is united and will benefit incumbent presidents and weaken extremists. Not bad. Which is very good. Exactly what we wanted. So we're still in an election. Uh, that's up there. Not gonna, we're going to do that stuff. Well, hello. Scar's heel. Man, it's lifespan. Ooh. Oh, I'll keep it separate for now. Broad. That's yeah, the little business access. If you remember this, please go ahead. Uh, duty calls. Actually, you know what? Let's save this one right now. Um, just because... If I come back and play these nations, we'll see. I will definitely... If I play these nations, I think it might still be bugged. Um... African and American states. Safe. Oh, something like that. Um, the kids will be bugged. It might not be. I don't remember the time it's recording, but it is what it is. Whatever. <coughs> nice. What do we do there? Um, we're looking pretty good already. I mean, I don't really want to spend any more political power. We can do it one more time if we really wanted to. But I'm not super concerned about it. Uh, yeah, we're definitely trenched for us to do well there. Um, we have enough expertise. Are we done with all this stuff? We are done with it, so we're pretty much done. All we can do now is just protect American sentiments? No. Strengthen pro American sentiment. That's why we want to handshake. If you want to this, please go ahead. An ocean pacified. That's exactly what we want. Can we get the ocean? If you want to that, please go ahead as well. Critical success despite our failures. An ocean pacified. Peace in our time. Awesome. If you remember about that, please go ahead. We have a ray of hope again. Get the Pan Islands. Get Hawaii back. Tends to decrease even further. Unhappy, unhappy. What do you mean you're unhappy? If anything, we're doing great. Rockies, eh? 
June 8th, but good god. We win the issue, yay! Look at that, we got him back. Oh, we got Hawaii back as well. And a lot of other islands as well. And first try, didn't have to reset. This time. Boys coming home! Another generation defined by war, but that was a good head. Yay! Oh god. Fed Lusk. Um, we're going to do this too. Minimal. We'll probably have quite a few in Federal East Africa. East African Socialists. Ship over arms. Propaganda campaign. Slightly increase their investment. Slightly stabilize the mandates. It's pretty easy to do. Send in advisors. Significantly increase their investments. Um, authorize Napalm use. Expand outreach. I don't mind spending money. Money's no problem. Unrestrained troops. Money. Significantly stabilize things. Nice. Or equipment. It's fine. Tactics. It's fine. Now we'll give some time. 1966. Some of that stuff because he can. Don't think we need to invest very much here, so we'll do one. International leanings, independence. I do that one. So I want to save our political power to a degree. Cool. Crushing the warlords and promoting liberalism. Federal. And I do it too, because you can. Low investment. Pull out, pull out of Africa? We could do that, but we'll see. I'm not going to do anything there for now. Yeah, hopefully we get even more people who want to be part of our group here. Argument for free trade. Though the MPP had no uh, lack of spirit for finding the Japanese, the captain could do a little but stare glumly at the maps of the Pacific at the weekly br briefings. Local prosperity spirit stretched from Asia, uh, from the Zod Hin to Hawaii, boasting a colossal military, abundant resources, and the strategic depth to frustrate any advance. Realistically, America could do a little but bide its time and contain the beast. So there are no other defeatist observations, Wallace grimly noted. Captive markets, U.S. trade representative murmured. President Wallace either represented warily, leading the representative cop before continuing. The sphere's economy is both mammoths and size are converging. Manchurian steel, Chinese rice, and Malayan rubber shipped cheaply to Japan, feeding both the Japanese military and the consumer demand in the sphere's colonies. Whereas the oil fence presence in the Pacific is limited to Canada. Australia and New Zealand. And Pope Bluntly is an economic Frankenstein, a patchwork of independent economies soon together, politically extended by tariffs and industrial redundancy. Are you suggesting we replicate Japanese economic serfdom in the OFN at Wallace House? The representative shook his head, no, but if we're going to be the Japan Japanese, the OFN has to gradually open up with its largest economy leading the way, and unlike Japan's colonial dependencies, America can ensure everyone's paid at market value, ensuring economic development and prosperity that could one day pave the way to both expand the OFN and outpace the sphere economically. Wallace nodded slowly, it's a hard pitch for the unions, but if America can benefit, it might be worth it. The freer the markets, the freer the people. We're going to alienate the people. Alright, so Democrats like this, the far right likes this, the center really doesn't like this, and the Republicans actually are not completely rejecting it. Not bad. Um, so, Local Business Relief Act. Nice. Yes, please. Lower business taxes. Awesome. Awesome. Dirty State of Schooling. United Empire. Okay, they're doing that there. Dixie likes this. Stellar MPP campaign. Foreign businesses. Business gain, trade deal. Reunified business subsidies. Big business likes this too. Born in the USA. If you want to go that, please go right ahead. No bills being debated. He only did what he was told. Death, Supreme Court Justice. Nice. 66. Uh, I don't really like war austerity. We can get some robot guns, I guess. Huh. Yeah, we don't need to see that for now. We can close out of that one. And any more political power? No. Great Lakes. We should do really darn well here. In theory. Looking pretty good right there, too. And down here, not bad, too. I understand the troops. Um, it's not bad. Are, are they, any of these cord? Because if, they, if they're all core, there's no resistance they have to deal with, right? Unconventional tactics. 
Jock methods, Central African system. I want to play as these guys, but we'll see. Yeah, I definitely want to play as all these guys, but you know. The resistance doesn't really mean too much. Attack and defense doesn't do very much either. Significant increase in investments. Every two months, divisions, discontent with the war will fall a little bit. Turn home. Pull out of Africa, not yet. You know what? I think growing the party plan will probably be good. This means we should be careful not to bother the center. Or just see it. Wallace leads away. Mm. We're already isolating them. Not to bother them with the center. Hmm. I'm not sure which one I really want to do. In the end, we should be able to pass stuff no matter what. And we will. America wins issue? You bet we did. Um, they want to get down uh, here. 30 state school and the state of the American education system has been brought to show that not even the well being of our children is sacred to the perfidious progressive. Overburdened with central Washington interventionism, their cultural uh, or cu curricula and even administration are disordered to the dictate of leftist social engineering. We need to tear this atrocious system down and replace it with a proper American one at once. Let's take over children. And Illy joins free world. If you want to put that, please go ahead. Another shining light in the sea of darkness. Libra makes a buck in Congress. <laughs> oh, look at that. The notion of owning one's own business has been a staple in the economic culture of the U.S. of A. throughout its history. Throughout the time immemorial, people refer to the U.S. as being a land of plenty, where anyone could do anything they wanted, all while making the success for themselves and the families they, they desired. President George C. Wallace has shown his desire to uphold this notion has taken a step towards promoting the land of plenty ideal through the Local Business Relief Act, or LIBRA, which offers an immediate flat tax relief towards local businesses and their owners, cutting controls of the U.S. federal government from its own economy further. While some praise President Wallace for his intentions to create an independent economy, others find it just another hole to fix in a leaky economy of a crisis. The far right have joined the Democrats today in celebrating a potential victory in the name of the free market, as small businesses have already rushed to work hard and produce more than before the, uh, before the tax relief. Just down the street from our new station, a local grocery market store owner was seen rushing to their business with a truck full of appliances and registers to upgrade the efficiency of his business. Libra is a culmination of the logical reasoning, backing President Wallace as Treasurer Wilbur Mills in his press conference today, and we will continue to make these sound tests for the sake of the American people. But... The state of the American economy following the Local Business Relief Act hasn't called happy cheers for all. Stock owners have begun to notably scramble their investments following the act, as local investors' offices have continued to receive phone calls regarding the shifts and changes in future American finances. Meanwhile, public welfare advocates have assembled in mass to combat support for the act, with one Republican leader saying, America doesn't need to open more pitfalls regarding the help of its people and its government. Wallace wants a free market, but how can people participate if they're too sick or hurt without a place to get help to work for? Free the market to free the people. Segregated security. Massive support from the Dixiecrats. Jason Northern. Northern far right allies when they don't agree on everything. Spend, spend, spend. I want to. I want to get through the elections first and see where we're at and see how many we have for the far right and center before I really make a decision here. I think that that is a good idea to do that. Increase the chaos and maintain social security. Massively helps popularity nationwide. Asses for allies. Now Medicare restrict coverage. Not exactly subtle. More, more, more. Massively help its popularity nationwide. A lot of cost. Encourage the elephants. Southern to meet Southern. Probably LBJ. Finalize the act. So we want to get down here, but we're going to do some generic stuff. But American education is next. Education is the cornerstone of all of America. A free public education for all people is a wonderful thing, and it lets America's best and brightest shine. That's exactly why I must keep all good American schools. Separate and equal is the law of the land, like it or not, and the Wallace administration will make sure that American kids get a square American education. Already pretty darn successful in this campaign thus far. How are we doing? So 3.6%. Yearly surplus is, I mean, that's over 10 billion, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, 14%, 54 billion in debt. So, choosing a scratch nominee, so a campaign, that's nice. Political landscape, where are we at? We want to go relatively conservative, so now uh, we're ready for anything. Supreme Court is 5 and 4. We're going to go with conservative, which would be good. Which we're going to lose political power from that, but whatever, who cares. Unhappy, unhappy, cutting a deal. We haven't really started this, which is fine. 
But it's only August still, so. Whatever. American Education. Send in advisors. Sure. Peace has been brought to Vietnam. All right, so what do we want here? New England. Nice. Actually, besides the uh, African ones, that's it. Okay. Polls are updated. All right. After American Education funding for schools. As you do not an empire, Dixie likes this. Well, peace, Dixie, just a little bit. Our nation is not some imperial dominion where the emperor in D.C. can tell every man and woman and gosh darn child what kind of land he should live in. America is a coalition of states, each with their own culture, identity, and way of life. we got to let it to the people know that this is how America is and how it's going to be. President Wallace is going to go on the TV and give the people a very stern talking to. The federal government is not going to hold your hand, nor is it going to trample over the rights of the states. After all, wasn't there a whole civil war over states' rights? Yes, sir. Go with air support. Lots and lots of air support. 100%, that's not bad at the Congo. Only September. Might be money so long, Jenny, but that place go ahead. We open up to the quares. Quares. So the MPP uh, has become a party which favors big business. Boosting northern part, the northern branch of the MPP, far right, but dividing a party and weakening their in the south. Cool, business subsidies. Big business likes us a lot. Unhappy of lack of segregation. Affecting the Democrats, states' rights. <coughs> God, I love states' rights. The family of states increases defederalization. The effects of the focus are reliant on increased states' authority. You're a citizen of a state and a union. Fighting for schools. Still a campaign. Let's go and go with business subsidies. Cuts are not enough. Businesses need more money still. Money that can be invested in more ambitious projects that can spread out the, through the economy for all to enjoy. So this money simply cannot gather enough for their normal day, uh, today operations. Hard-working businessmen of America, your cries have now been answered and the years of neglect is now ended. The federal government now, must now play a more active role in good business. Find your bill on the decisions tab. Nice. Very nice. 66. I'm, what are we going to research, man? Oh, whoops. That's a little ahead of time, Bob. Eh, whatever. You're not an empire, man. All right. Unhappy, whatever. Uh, Cutting a deal. We'll get there next. As soon as the midterms are done. Campaigning wise, we're gonna go with what? Leaning towards MPP, Democratic victory, East Coast. Go East Coast. The Dream Act. Okay. So the far right's like, yes, buddy. For the center, like, not bad. Democrats love us. And the Republicans are okay with it, generally. No, maybe not generally, but we got enough support, doesn't matter. So that's how many we got. 25 plus that much, hold on. 51, 66, 76 senators. God. I hate. I hate politics sometimes, man. Mm. There you go. Keep them not as much as you can. 11 billion, 3.3. Inflation is kind of relatively high. Of American capitalism. Nice. If you want to that, please go ahead. 52.575 billion in debt, but not bad. So we're kind of down with roughly 12 billion plus every year. Oh, I can't wait. Elections are coming up in less than a month. And we'll know soon, very, 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 very soon, if we have what we need. What are we missing here? Nothing. Ah, oh, I love us. It's not quite a solid South, you could say. It's very, very weird. Like this is very solid up here in the Midwest, and there's solid South here. But this part is kind of mixed, and the coasts are relatively. It's all mixed too. It's all mixed. America's a mess. But that's how I like my America. Just messed up. All right, so we're doing stuff ahead of time. You might as well go for this. I don't want to be bothered with research that much. I mean, what else are we gonna do besides get involved in Africa, and Iran, and maybe Iraq? You know, normal stuff. That's economy, darn it. You wonder about that? Please go ahead, too. Americans vote with their pocketbooks. You bet they do.
Oh, we actually have more stuff to work with here? Nice. Cool. What else? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! Holy crap! Look at that! We get... The Republicans and Democrats lost 8 and 7. The center lost 3. The far right has just exploded in terms of, like... They, they own... They might... Do they own a supermajority? They almost have a supermajority. Don't you need, like, 66 out of, like... I think you need 66 out of 100 to have a supermajority. Holy crap. This is why you want to get the ports first if you want two terms as well as... The Dream Act and a little by with Congress. So the elections are done. Let's screw everything else up here now. Uh, this, uh, how many senators do we have in the center? I'll read Dream Act first, though. Oh, and this one, too. Out of the success of the local business relief act, many have pointed to an uptrend in growth in the cell phone American businesses. With the concerns of citizenry supporting the federal government's power being trampled as Americans flood the dream of founding their own business. And in a shocking victory today, President Wallace has found himself able to lay additional supports towards local business, both large and small today. As a direct reversal of entrepreneurship in America, markets act or the DREAM Act, issuing a new line of direct subsidies towards businesses in the American market, promoting further growth of local American-owned businesses. Following so triumphant over government-oriented opposition, the administration and President Wallace come together to celebrate their victories for the American businesses, as businessmen across the country cheering in their homes and offices regarding their new line of payments straight from the D.C. How could I ever complain about the DREAM? Getting paid by the American government to do as I always have and what I always do, because that's it's what I love, without the hassle of governmental crooks getting in the way. The president can be sure that he's owned another vote here in my shop, and people who disagree can walk right on out if they're upset. This one Bostonian butcher is a carved and sliced into a prime cut of pork. Where some find treasure, however others find misery, in particular many voice are concerns over the sheer level of payment going towards the DREAM Act, and continuously worrying regarding the potential loss of other government programs make up for it. Look, I'm not one to get political a lot, but how can I help myself to not get mad knowing that I have to run? I care for these people, and who knows what the president's going to take away to pay for these businesses, says one nurse of an elderly home from Montana. Oh, how the American loves his cash. Increases miscellaneous cost by 0.3 billion. Growth increased by 0.1 billion business like this, but get slightly more inflation. But, you know, it's not that much. Jesus Christ. Just butchered everything. Unhappy, unhappy. Whatever. So now, that's why I waited. Who gives a crap about the Senate? There's only 11 Senators, you know? Why does it say 24, 21? Oh, no, that's the Dixiecrats and Northerners. Jesus Christ. Let's look at the map real quick. Oh! Oh, oh my God! That's so much MPP! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, it's so good! Zion, Roger Zion, Bruce Alger, Eastland, Martin Spanish, Talmage, Strom Thurmond, what an absolute glorious guy. Robert Bird, nice. Douglas, uh, Mitch, Milton, not Mitch, but Milton Young, Henry Jackson, Newberger, of course, both senators in the center right there. Barry Goldwater, RD, Wallace have been in Utah, Mr. Mormon, Moneybags. Oh, good God. Well, put God back in schools. Dixie will love this. So we're gonna ping pong back here. This stuff, I mean, this is kind of generic you can do all the time, but I really want to go through this part of the tree, and then we're gonna go through this part of the tree. We're gonna rush through this part as fast as we can now. Wallace shall lead the way. When will these nabby pamphlet progressives get it through their heads that Wallace is a president? He won the primaries in the general fair and square, and if they don't want a good old Southern boy defining their doctrine, then they can find another party. They're getting their Medicare, they're getting their Social Security, but they're getting bills exactly the way President Walsh wants them written. The President Walsh will make clear that this is his party being the main champion of Social Security and Medicare. The far-right MPP will take center stage in policy advocacy and spread its own Dixiecrat message across the country in the process. The nation will see these bills as classic, down-home Southern mutual aid, just like the Kingfish promised back in the day. Ha! Oh, God bless him. This may alienate the center, but we can, can rally new voters from coast to coast to the far-right bloc. Beautiful. Uh, which one do we want to do first? Medicare... For sure, coverage. Massive boosts popularity. Southern means Southern. Or do you want to go this way? Very good chance. Look out, this will be put into question. Even attempting to be harmful. Brought a court over our northern far right allies. Even if we don't agree on everything. Um, I kind of want to go with this one first. Because there's a good chance legality of this will be put into question. Expensive. Efforts will be put in preventing certain folks from gaining uh, as expensive Social Security. Mass support from the Dixcrats. They'll love that. And I love that too. Unhappy, unhappy. God, that's so beautiful. We'll look at that later. Political landscape. We are still united, ready for anything. 16 Republicans. Only 11 sinners. 65. Jesus Christ. Um. 
Oh, wait, I wanted to see the uh, political landscape. That's... Because we should still have some five and four, right? Five conservatives, four liberals, supposedly. We should be okay to do pursue Social Security. We got a lot of old timers in the country who are still working in the twilight years. Who can blame them? When they got no savings to retire on. This makes the job market that much harder for the youth to break into. We want to keep this economy going. We're going to need these geezers out of it. Social Security could just be the ticket. We'll also begin drought in the Social Security package by buying the MPPs a friend of the aged. That will boost their popular by proving uh, they'll boost their support among America's most frequent voters. There may be several opportunities to alter this bill to fit the interests of certain members of our party as well. This will be completing a first draft for Social Security. This will give us a first set of supporting senators. It'll be interesting to see. So we can close out of this one for now. Of course, we will need to keep open. Uh, we'll close out of that one too. Ah, money. Let's spend it. Who cares? Um, they're unhappy. Unhappy. Good luck. You know, whatever. Getting a deal is going to be important too. Hey, more political power. Awesome. Um, so we'll have to take a look see because I want Social Security first. We should be able to get it with this many far right senators. And you know, there's only eight Democrats, but that's not bad. We kind of screwed over the center, but whatever. The Republicans won't like us either, but who cares? Um, but yeah, we're all done with this stuff. So thank God I hate doing this every single time, but whatever. God, I'm excited for this. Oh, man. So, for Social Security and Healthcare Reform, 17 out of 30, none of these guys, oh good god, convince the Democrats, five more will get on our side. Uh, Rally Dixie? Yeah. We'll get 10 more, oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be difficult, this is why you saved up as much political power earlier as possible. Um, we can do both. So that's 27. We're gonna need more, for both sides, uh, for both healthcare and Social Security. So, pulls it updated, whatever. Um, we'll need the Northerners as well, but this is only the first round. We still got over 1,200 political power. We'll need more, but, you know, we'll get there. Over here, considerable investments. It's fine. Get some more manpower. There we go. Scars heal. Day for tears. Oh, if you want to put that, please go ahead as well. Spying treaty ports, special diplomacy, token civil rights legislation, the last bastion of liberty. Military advisors, spinning cogs. Let's see, significant oil concessions, which is fine. Very light discontent, which is fine. Very, it's quite high. Not very high, but quite high. Ray of hope. Engines of war. Italy in the open is very nice. Daily pickle power, leader experience gain, army experience gain, division organization, fuel gain per oil, research facilities, monthly change. Very nice, as well as wall business subsidies. It is what it is. Um. Oh, we got more support here. We're not doing healthcare yet, but we're doing social security. 27, 1, 6, 12. We got it. We already have it, right? Right? So this it would be, if you combine 1 plus 12 is 13, 20, 26, we got it. We, we can already go and pass it. We don't need any of this stuff. Should the proposed social security. We can just go ahead and pass this already. Oh, man. Oh, do I do this? Do I do this or not? We can pass it already. Towards Medicare, well, let's at least see what this one does too. Social Security will help us get the elderly out of the workforce and stimulate economic mobility, but it's not enough on its own. Many employers provide health insurance, and a lot of seniors are afraid to lose their health care they retire. Thus, the MPP is proposing we adopt a national Medicare plan that will provide retirees with health insurance. This new legislation will not only prove popular with retired voters, the largest voter group by far, but also the center block of the party. If we can mollify them with Medicare, then they might look the other way on policy state rights legislation. You know what? Okay, so with at least Social Security, we can see that. With this, we'll know how much support we actually can get as well. We might just be able to do both. Oh, look at that. Central Siberian Federation draws closer. I guess we can also read about the jobs act if we really wanted to as well. Um, Dixie will love this. I like this one. This world is a harsh one, especially for the children. They should be thanking God every night for the fact that they were born in the good old U.S. of A. we got to show them just how lucky they are. We'll have to make sure that the schools are teaching the good, wholesome facts of American history and none of that good-for-nothing, gray, fascist propaganda. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. How's, how's uh, how are we looking? Three and a half, pretty much. Oh, a, a billion is going towards paying off the debt. Oh, that's so good. Don't we don't believe in a navy right now, but whatever. And just more stuff up here. You have money? Spend it. Who cares? Just throw money at the issue. That that'll totally not have any problems in the future. Just throw money at it. And be careful with to know how much command power we actually have, because that. It can go down very quickly if we're not careful with it, too. 
Um, analysis. Can we suppress the Democrats? Yeah, let's go do that. Even though that we're using them, it doesn't make sense to suppress them, but you know what? I'd rather have more far right or right wing senators than the other side, so. Jobs Act? Yeah. Dixie will love this. In terms of education, but more patriotic population is always better. So now we'll take a look see here. Healthcare as well as social security we saw this earlier. Um, so this is different numbers here. Actually, the far right slightly likes it more for healthcare. Center is the same. Republicans are a little bit less, and Democrats are a little bit less too. So overall, we would have uh, 27 plus 7 is 34, plus 6 is 40, 50. So we have 50 for healthcare reform. And more than 50 for this one, for now. So I'm going to leave this up to you. Should we, even though, even with Social Security, we have more than enough without doing any of these, should we do these focuses? Please let me know if we should do these focuses over here, as well as restrict coverage, more, 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 as well as encourage elephants. Because this is the one, this is the campaign I want to focus a lot on Social Security and Medicare and get them both passed as best as possible. And of course, finish everything down here as well and everything on this side as well. So let me know, should we do these extra focuses to get enhanced Social Security and Medicare? Let me know in the comments below, but that's going to end probably today's episode. Um, calling controversial, put it lightly. Locks of words in northern states. I don't want to do that one. Yeah, definitely. Second, get the curricula. Definitely not yet. Definitely not yet. Uh, put God back in schools. Funny for education. Um, in the meantime, we could probably just read about foreign businesses. Wise men, then I have said that America's business is business. No matter where you are, who you are, where you came from, America always had its door ready, ready to make a deal. Guns, cars, pig, iron, bread, play, boys, you name it, and we have it, no questions asked. For the better part of two centuries, that had been our state of affairs, sale and excess of our plenty to anyone and everyone who wanted it. Because of that, we prospered and grew it where others kneeled over and fell. It died an ugly death when the depression hit us all, but the most darling was that the Democrats buried it under their tariff, under their tariff without a second thought. So, to America, people, I promise this, the good old days are coming back, and we'll soon reap the riches that follow. All to that, and to all the free nations of the world, I promise this, our doors are always open, our bounty are always free to purchase. Come in with the cash on hand, and let's make a deal. But if you enjoyed the video, which I certainly did, uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue on with George C. Wallace and his coalition of the right wing of the NPP. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.